You're listening to KGPC 96.9 FM Oakland and streaming online at www.kgpc969.org. This is the Anything Can Happen show with Kenya Asa, Quezzy Dreams, and your man, Cat Fitness, y'all. Today, man, today's a great day. Yes, it is. We just had our CMOS shots before Ooh. the show. <laughs> we got fired up. We got our 92 minerals in the body. Wow. That you know, like a super saiyan. <laughs> <laughs> we was turning up with the sea moss. Even Monk, Monk uh, from Monk and Conversations had some sea moss with us before the show today, and he got fired up. He started talking about weird dust from stars. <laughs> he definitely yeah. did. There are no lies. So he turned into a celestial being. Wow. Yes, yes. <laughs> but Brother Quezzy, yes. we have an amazing guest today. Hey, like she she about so to sweet. she's about to be dropping some game she's Fire. about to be talking about just all the things that she has going on in the bay right now but oh, she oh, is yeah. she is making a huge difference can you give our viewers a little breakdown who we have in the building today absolutely absolutely so today in the building we have taylor crenshaw Taylor Crenshaw. That just sound gangster. Taylor yeah. Crenshaw. Yeah. That's pretty fire. So yeah. Taylor Crenshaw. I don't think she's from Crenshaw. At least not that one that I know of. But you probably heard of Gold Crenshaw Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> the ancestry of migration with the Crenshaws. Yeah. She, she definitely built a mafia over there at Goldbeam. We're gonna talk a lot about that Woo! during this show. Absolutely. But you probably heard of Goldbeam if you haven't yet. Every second Monday, she'll tell you a lot more about it. We're super fired up about that. But mm -hmm. Taylor curates and produces events, exhibitions, and experiences for Black creatives through her organization, Gold Bean. Mm -hmm. Founded in 2018, Gold Beans produces concerts, cabarets, music series, and Gold Beans is widely known for its signature open mic, Second Mondays. So Gold Beans is part of the organizations like the San Francisco Exploratorium, the Black Joy Parade, Lyft, Red Bull, the Life is Living Festival, and many, many more to bring productions to life. The organization is also contracted to produce for others, and they range from intimate events to 2,000 seat theater productions. Oh, they're not playing. On the way. Not not they're they not playing. playing. Come on. So 2,000. No Sheesh. Games. Absolutely. We're going to talk a lot more about that. <laughs> but thank you for joining us today, Taylor Crenshaw. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling wonderful after hearing my 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 accomplishments right back to me. <laughs> Absolutely. So Absolutely. you really warmed somebody up. <laughs> yeah, and that, those are those are junior accomplishments compared to what you're going to accomplish. Hey. All right, we're gonna talk more about that. So let's get started. Let's jump right into it. Gold beans. Tell us about gold beans. I'm sure some of our listeners have heard of it and the ones that haven't are about to, but definitely stay tuned. Tell us about it, Tim. Yes, so like you so wonderfully said, Gold Beans produces events for Black creatives, and we're contracted to produce events for other people. Um, we started in 2018. I had came out here, whatever. Oh, you that, know, that, that's the East Coast. Yeah, yeah, that, you're going you to you hear my jaws clenched. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be like, is that 50? <laughs> really? Um, uh, and... Um, I was circling the open mic scene. Um, speak on it was out at the time. Wow. A, a legendary Go open back. mic, right, right at, at the Legion downtown Oakland, um, off 9th Street, I think. Wow. And speak on it. Speak on it. Wow. Oh, vintage. And started performing out there. And I performed this piece called "Am I Crazy?" Um, because I was having like a really tough time. Yeah. I was like, I need to just share this. Yeah. Um, Went to open my da 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 and made a bunch of friends. Yeah. Um, started going there weekly, then started inviting my new found artsy friends to yeah. the crib. Wow. <laughs> that first month, it was seven people, um, five events a month later, uh, and they were sharing stories, yeah. journal entries, yeah. um, a comic book illustrator that first time, um, just all types of art. And, um, Five months later, it's fifty people in the crib, and most people didn't even know each other. Oh. Like they they came like by themselves. So was it like a special handshake or like uh -huh. a cold word to get in the building? Like, or like... <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, like. Yeah. Um, and I had this beautiful apartment. I'm moving next month at the forties, but two stories. Um, it looked over. It was over the water. Um, wow. 
huge uh, staircase in the duplex on, that with the locked over, so people would look over like an opera. Yeah. Like it was packed. You could hang out. The kitchen was open concept. So wow. like people were coming, hearing amazing art podcasts, um, clips uh, showing music videos, uh, poetry, rap, spoken word, freestyling journaling talk some people would read excerpts out of books yeah. um just a whole bunch of creators just like sharing we have free beer hey. <laughs> free pizza um and then when we hit that 50 we hit it again and then decided to uh get the venue get the the at red bay roastery red in bay. Fulville. yeah wow. Coffee. with okay. the beautiful green wall yeah oh my god yeah, so gorgeous yo let me tell you something i went there and um they was like all right so we had open mics here before so you know don't worry if there's not a lot of people and i think it might have been like a, a warriors game night too yeah and i was like damn ain't nobody got <laughs> and after 50 that night 100 people came wow and mind you i had just quit my job um i spent the last on that it's only to this oh excuse me to this day it's only ten dollars to to get in Wow. And I knew that I always wanted to keep our, our ticket price um, low. And we paid yeah. for the venue. We paid. We have. We still have people. We were getting food from the vegan hood chefs. So purchasing from Shout them. Shout out the vegan hood chefs. Yeah. Making it healthy. We definitely had that two buck check. Wow. <laughs> Trinidad. It is what it is. Yeah. And it was free. Like set up the space like the living room. Yeah. And um, artists would come through and really freaking kill it. They would kill it. Yeah. It's like, and they still do to this day. So, to second Monday this month, the eleventh. Yeah. Um. And so, How many people were there? We average one hundred and fifty. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. And this year, um, second Monday, we had our bigger, our biggest event to date at the New Parish, five hundred people, a special 500 second. People. Yep, at the New Parish, we partner with the Black Joy Parade periodically. Um, to do special edition events during the parade. Wow. Um, Red Bull is a partner. Warriors is a partner. Lyft has been a partner with us. The Museum of the African Diaspora, the San Francisco, like you said, everything. We've done things with folks. Um, but this February, we gave out $2,000 in prizes um, and a slot on the Black Joy Parade stage wow, to so perform in front of 30,000 people. Wow. Yeah. Because okay. my thing is, the goal is, the Gold Beam's goal is to support Black creators making careers in their art. Yeah. That's it. Like, if you want to draw so that the animators are frozen, I say that all the time. Yeah. With all of these streaming platforms, Netflix, I, I, uh, they're just making so much content. They're looking for set designers and script writers and wardrobe folks and makeup folks. Like, there's, it's a renaissance. Yeah. You know? And so everything that Gold wow. does is does, we've done content with the California Ballroom. Um, we have, it, it, in that regards, our, our first part of the mission is to treat artists like the stars that they are, be this in between um, stage between this 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 leaping pad. Um, as you you senior in your art, this is where you get the expert your expertise. Absolutely, you find your network. So, how did you find yourself in this space? Yeah. Like, what made you <laughs> venture? Like, was this something that you were doing back on the East Coast prior to it? Or when, once you got out here, you kind of just like tapped into it? You know, I, 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 I've I been saying that it's like, oh, my God, I, I just this is so random. Um, but looking back at my life, like at Howard, um, I'm a Howard alumna. Oh, um, Howard. All my homegirls were <laughs> artists. They were in film. They were <laughs> one of them. Uh, their, their mother was the editor in chief for a magazine. So she's a writer. So like. Being writing as a career, art as a career, was it foreign? Was in a foreign concept to right. my friends. Like we would walk around doing like little indie videos, camp together. My girls camera like, what's this shoot? Like let's. I have this like light ramp, this little light stand. Like let's just go outside and like put a shoot like a, a scarf <laughs> over it and get cool. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we started having an open mic. Like we had sat together, and uh, one of us is like, "Oh, I want, I want to share something with you." And I think it, it was my the film girl, my film bestie, um, with her scripts. And then I was like, "Well, shit. I mean, I wrote like something. I wrote something down. Um, I'm gonna get a. Uh, I'm gonna write my. I'm gonna read you something from my journal." And then the third girl, uh, she was like. Uh, she got she now gets commissioned to write a magazine and stuff she's like oh wow. yeah she was like I, I wrote this piece um as a write-up what do you think 
And so we were like, let's invite people over. We were broke. So we like, let's wow. make them bring drinks and food. Like, <laughs> and let's like share art. So yeah. that all of my friends, I've traveled a bunch. Like my yeah. growing up in, in the West, in Westchester, the suburbs of New York. Um, but spending huge amounts of time in Brooklyn with my artsy yeah. friends at like artsy parties, like at wow. 16. <laughs> wow, as a teenager. Yeah. That's good exposure. Yeah, sneaking yeah. in the VIP. <laughs> yeah, that's good exposure. Um, and so how things started out here, I, I came out here to work at um, Banana Republic Corporate and did not have like the best time. Like I was very depressed and second guessing myself. Um, wow. And um, I was going through a lot of emotional things at the time. And I, I wrote a piece called Am I Crazy? Mm -hmm. um, mind you, I didn't really share too much like that. Like I would journal and I just write to myself. I, I've only really performed um, once outside of those open mics yeah. at the time. At the, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 at the New Eureka. And it was my friend signed me up like, like, <laughs> come on, dog. Yeah, that's how I'm scared. Like. How um, and so when I. Uh, uh, I, I, I was just so upset. I was like, I gotta find a place to share this. Cause I was feeling so much like pent up anger. What do you think all that came from though? Like, was it just racism, were... mm. colorism, being thought, uh, being looked at like I wasn't smart and, uh, and feeling like, are people loving on black women? Like I've not seen it, like, you know, like dating and things like that. And being and when I would share it with other people, I'm like, are y'all feeling this? Because I'm feeling it is really like getting me. Um, people were making me feel like I'm crazy. Like I was angry. Like I was like, you what know, was this? this is in 2018. And so to me, I'm like going through this like back and forth of this like being like really angry and like like but being like I'm I don't have like. I'm, I'm doing the most. So I felt like I had all this, but really I just, need, I needed pe like people, I don't think I felt believed. So I was like imploding. And then also like not doing things that I loved in my career, um, feeling like I'm, I'm at this glamorous Devil Wears Prada uh, work. And I've, I've had very like fun, interesting jobs and, and careers in marketing as my background. Um, but I'm like, I'm not, when I come home, I'm exhausted. I feel overworked. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I have these ideas, but like, I don't feel heard. Yeah. And so I went to go perform the piece. Um, and then that's how that started. And then how, one of like the things that I love about Gobi, and Gobi is a baby that like loves me back, yeah. is that like, I get to have ideas and thoughts about growth, about scale, about, mm -hmm. um, business savvy things and and if i do this then in seven months that'll happen and or we'll get that result because i'm doing all these variables in between intentionally and then be like yeah that 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 thing worked that thing dang it yeah. it so just you, shows you your are, value yeah you're allowed to express creatively how to build something from the ground up you know what i'm saying that kept you motivated yeah and i'll give one example uh, when we're having second mondays at my uh apartment um so it started at 6 p.m. One, I was like, got to be on a Monday because it has to be on a day where there's no competition. And then also Wednesday yeah. was in the works, but I was like, Wednesday, people are going to be tired. It's the hump day yeah, in between. Maybe. Let's do Monday. We've got that energy from Sunday. Um, and then <laughs> uh, people would leave early. Like it started at 6. People would leave around 7. I wanted them to stay later. And I'm like, why? It's because the people leaving were people who work corporately and they didn't eat dinner uh, yet. Oh, okay, oh, let me wow. bring in free food and, and beer. And they stayed longer. People stayed longer. They were just hungry. Interesting. And so from very small things to like partnerships and, 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 and our long range planning, like it's our goal to do a festival, to do an art exhibition. How far out do you see this? I was going to say, how far out do you see this festival? Oh, I'm. Because we. Behind the scenes, we were talking about the concert right. already, right? Yeah, absolutely. Good. I, I, I have all the plans in my head. They, they, they grow and compound. So I want to do a festival. So I was like, okay, step one to doing a festival is doing a concert. Got to have a concert. Getting Got rid of my stage, checklist. right? <laughs> so in October, we had our first concert at the California Ballroom. It had 300 wow. people there. Yep, we paid the artists. We paid everyone. Like, yeah, it's like yeah, even production works. Like, so 
if your goal through artistry is in production, it's very difficult to get the experience on your resume um, to be very attractive to something like Coachella or Apple Pump because how often do you get some, some of those things is like you kind of have to know how to do the job to go ahead and learn how to do the job. Like now the program managers and assistants for Gold Beams, like they're like, oh, I've, I've ran a 500 person concert at the New, New Parish. I was on stage. You know what I mean? Interesting. You know, that was you on site. You had the, the vendors, the volunteers, the contractors, the lighting, um, check in. Um, working with the, the setups of each of the artists going back and forth on, working with soundcheck. Like, you just did that, yeah. you know? Pre-production work with, with goals behind the scenes doing that. Wow. Right. So, wow. Um, I, I doing these things is like, this is, this is me, like, kind of jumping. And I knew that it would be make sense, like, it, it, it's, I had the audience and yeah. I had the production work. And the vision. Yeah. So, I don't really need... Like, I don't, I don't have a dream to do a thing and then have to rely on other people to get people there. Yeah. Um, because we have a family. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the people who go to Gold Beans, it's like, I always say, make friends, network. If you are looking, if you are an artist, there's somebody who owns a studio in this space. Absolutely. You know? If you own a studio, there are artists. Right. Yeah. There, the space that we're in, the venue that we're in, is black owned and operated by Oakside. You know what I mean? This is a mini convention center. Yeah. Like you can you looking for a job, you're looking for a, 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 a like a a, to, to talk to an owner of yeah. something so mega that with other locations around yeah. is there. It's very real. It's very real. It's yeah. Rare. You're putting that together, which is amazing, right? So in terms of I know Kat asked a great question, right? About kind of like what's next with the festival as a concert, but immediately speaking, right? Yeah. Like, that's coming yes. up in the next oh, few sweet. weeks and months. So we got a forty thousand dollar grant, and wow. starting in October, which will be our, I want to say our fourth year anniversary, um, we will be giving out two thousand dollars in prizes at our signature open mic second month, second Mondays. Um, so we, what do I got to do to come get this two thousand dollars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't gonna say it's rigged or anything. That's funny. I know. I know the person who do this. <laughs> uh, we was just hanging out. Um, but we're giving a thousand dollars first place, five hundred second place, two hundred and fifty third place, and two hundred and fifty for the freestyle. We end with the freestyle cipher. Wow. So you can you can easily and I was saying before, you don't have to be at your peakest of peaks. Like you are performing it's gonna be twenty people who yeah. will fit on the list. The odds of you winning that money is high, but bring your best. Bring wow. your best. This is your art, this is your skill, so you hone in on your power. craft. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's show time. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? So um yeah. we'll do that for six months. I want to make it permanent. So for whoever if you have if you work at a company that uh is sponsoring events or if you are a business who are, who's looking for brand partnerships, holler at us. Uh we have a bunch of people. We see our audience double, triple, and quadruple when yeah. we uh offer cash prizes on the line. Yeah. So and in, in our we we just had our second Monday on on uh, on this week Monday July 11th we had 150 wow. people. Yeah, and I saw it. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it. my wife was there. My yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I guess Martin or whatever. Uh, but I, I got calls from like three people saying like, Chrissy, where are you at? Where are you at? Because I I come from like that artist world, you know, before I started business and and just hearing the energy and excitement, right? And I know. Okay, so I moved out here to the Bay in 20, 2015, mm -hmm. and I moved out here and I was performing. I was performing, I was selling my book. I did that for like two and a half, three years up until I, I met my wife, right? And then we transitioned into building a family, all those things, right? But I saw a low. There was like a period between 2017. You said, when did Go Me start? 2018. Yeah, 20. So I would say like 2019, right? There was that period where there weren't really a lot of outlets, especially in the East Bay, because gentrification had hit like an all-time high, right? So all the artists were getting pushed out to Antioch and like Sacramento and all these places. And there weren't really a lot of venues that artists could go to and express themselves versus when I moved here in 2015. So seeing what Goldbeam was doing, it's amazing. Like you mentioned a renaissance, like that's mm -hmm. really powerful, mm -hmm. right? That's sweet. So thank you for providing that to the community. And what what can the community provide back to Goldbeam? Come through, have fun. Um, 
and I, I mean that like come through, have fun, um, oh, give energy, sh- show love to the artists that are performing. Um, if it's an artistic event, we also have intimate series. We have talk it out where we talk about the thoughts, feelings, and emotions wow. that society pretends doesn't exist. And it's very much like, you know, the end of that Lauryn Hill song, uh, when they're, the guy, he's talking with the kids, he's like, what do you know about love? Oh, man. Like those programs. Yeah. We talk about sex. We talk wow. about um, anxiety. Like we talk, parents. We are, on July 20th, we'll be talking about parenthood for those who are parents and our relationship with our parents. Ooh. I it's know, amazing. right? It's crazy. So what do you feel like the demographic is when it comes to, like, the age of people that come to the end of it? Uh, 25 to 35 is the peak of our bell curve and then it hits like 35 45 and then it hits uh, uh 20 like like 25 like 18 after that and then okay, okay. so out. from like 20 to like 40 yeah 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 yeah, yeah 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 and is yeah. that is that the demographic you want to hit are you looking to expand or shrink down like what do you think mm-hmm. My demographic are is black creators making careers in their art, um, and I like that our events are intergenerational in a very organic way, where everybody's just being themselves and having a good time, and it feels like a family reunion and a kickback, um, because we all learn from each other, and that also helps the network too. Like if if everyone is emerging, you know what I mean, <laughs> then there's wisdom that that is that we could have, you know? Absolutely. And then if everyone is wise and, and there's there's no teachings, like that's that's the thing. But um also sexy young adults, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. adults are having fun, like real like having different definitions of what fun is, like after the club, you know, after parties, like you're gonna you're gonna drink, you're gonna dance, you're gonna kick it and you can sit down, you're gonna look at great art or you're gonna have a great conversation. We got free wine at Talk It Out by the way. Wow um in our series um in real life a conversation between black men and black women oh it's three goodness. parts all black men curated by create the space another wellness Shout men's org we have been here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. um then for women met. and then for both yeah, yeah. we met a crazy oh man yeah the awesome. world is this small uh okay small <laughs> <laughs> the world too but okay okay i really like that i mean you mentioned Right, so y'all are like, is it a, an LLC or an S corp? Or? LLC. LLC. Wow. So yeah, y'all are serious. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, is this so you're doing this full time now, or is this like obviously it's not a hobby? Like this, this is the thing. Like this is your baby. But right? do you have another job or other streams outside of Goldman? So Goldman is my full time job. Wow. And it took me three years to figure out how do I make Goldbeans pay my my salary let alone a salary for a team yeah, yeah. um our events are historically affordable I see. um ten dollars yeah. you know what I mean? like you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff, right? right and it's in the most beautiful venues though I, the quality is always higher like my my art is my production skills yeah. you know the lighting the the venue the the equipment the setup um so it's like dang like how are we gonna how are we gonna do that um and then uh oh so then in December, we got our first contract offer. Um, it was actually to me first. And the contract was for 15 hours a week, um, long term, six months, um, to help with a, an org that does like a series of productions from like small events to like in 2000 seat theaters. Mm. Yeah. So being a part of the production team, I'm like, I knew in December, I was like, I was, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not, I, this is my job. I'm not interested in, in applying for jobs. Right. So I was like, can you contract gold beams for this? Yes, but can you con this? I will, you will get me, but yeah. gold beams. Yeah. Don't and like, your business. Yeah. yeah. So since then, we've had other contracts to, like, if my work is production, I'm project the, the the crap out of, all of the at any point in time i have like five events in my head running shows people yeah. places things needs uh marketing outreach i wear all the hats i wear every department hat. Yeah, no, yeah. right right now exactly but it, it it developed the skill for me to be able to do that very easily for other people yeah, who are like stressed they're like yo i 
I'm I'm do I, I work for a company, but my we're having this event. Event production is not our background. Or if it's a production company and we're like we need more people to help bring our larger companies to to, to life, and I'm getting the experience to better throw that festival. You know, because you're at these grand theaters. Yeah. You know what I mean. Yeah. And I'm able to like learn and grow at my own time and and also externally, yeah. right? So that one contract, our, our one major contract, um, is enough to fund my rent and second Mondays. Oh wow! wow. Yeah, okay. fifteen hours a week. Uh, rent gotta be like five thousand. And <laughs> once I once I once I feel like once I feel like I am like spending all of my energy in contracts and second Mondays, while well, our other events are not getting the love that they need. My price goes up, my hourly rate. It doubles. You know, I, I have to put these logic things to me because, yeah. like, uh, yeah, yeah, and also like a, you know, it helps with my relationship with with money. Like oh, to be yeah. like, like emotionally, like I would not let in, anything jeopardize our internal things that were going on. So like, mm-hmm. I, I can, I li- literally can't. Once I feel like ah, I, I didn't schedule that email last because I was doing a whole bunch of other things. Mm-hmm. I need to make more so I can hire people to do other parts of the, the, the business, you know? Money is abundant. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. I'll show you. I love it. I love in, it. Grants. So our, con- our contracts and grants are our streams of in- income. Um, our events will be, uh, I think that we have a big opportunity to, to make a lot of money with partnerships. Oh, our sponsorships. Thanks. Our biggest sponsorship has been ten thousand. We got the forty thousand dollar grant to uh, three to, years in. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that was the ten thousand was like year, year, year two. I think we're like year four. I don't know. I think I mean, two thousand. What year are we in right, right? now? Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Jesus. Um. Uh. So. So. Knowing that. Uh. And also, I want to televise and package our events. That would be another stream. So I'm. Like thinking, uh, gold beams to expand. Yeah. We have to do things in other states. You know what I mean. So that, we're going to need money to fund that, to fund the the team to do that, to be able to produce these things. And yeah, we're valuable. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Brooklyn is very unique in that way because it's not just the local creatives, but there's a, an energy and a an inspiration to create, right? Like even you being, you're from the other side of the country, right? That might even be the other side of the world in California, right? And the fact that you felt comfortable coming here and having this vision, seeing it to fruition and getting community support, right? I'm thinking of a place like Oklahoma, right? Like Oklahoma might have the same intention, but there might be a Taylor Crenshaw in Oklahoma <laughs> that might not have the community support or might not have the grant. So definitely, I can definitely see Gold Beans being something that the need is there. Right, it's just a matter of the, the exposure, which is coming. I mean, y'all, you know, 150 people. Oh, stop! Like, that's the goal Monday. is to have 300 right. people in oh, October. That's that's Damn the goal. Money. That's the Absolutely. goal. We got the money I'm and sorry, the rest of you lit, 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 yeah. lit drinks. Absolutely. <laughs> wonderful. We're going to turn up. We're going to have some more CMOS. I want to, <laughs> right, right. Hey, we, we got the cat CMOS um, in the building. I wanted to say to something really special about Oakland and the Bay is that yeah. when I first moved here, it's so easy making friends here. Right. Like I met oh, some that's of my so best sweet. friends. Like we, I'd be at a coffee uh-huh. place and they'd be like, "Oh my god, I like your shoes," and like, yeah. "I like your shoes," and then we have a friend day at the Oakland Museum. Yeah. That's how I'm Lynn. Hey, girl. Like that's how I met like my friends. Like you know. <laughs> that's dope. Yeah, and 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 also like a more. Like I've, I've released traumas here. It's a very spiritual place. Like sure. a lot of people talk about healing and releasing. And, and, and um, when I first got here, so when I quit the Nana Republic, um, I fired them. <laughs> when I fired them, <laughs> I like that. Um, I decided to work a bunch of jobs, uh, part-time jobs that would help me get better at producing events or create like like uh, relationships. Mm-hmm. So I taught or. Oh, um, uh, spoken word at Oakland School for the Arts. I was on the event production team at the Oakland Museum. Um, also, the event setup team for Oak Stop. And I've worked at uh, two black owned galleries um, and Ashara, Ashara Ekendayo. She yeah, had the yeah. first gallery that I, I went to. They only, they only uh, show black women art. Right. 
Um, and then the spirits that would come in, in circles, the, yeah, the oh my God, like it's just, yeah. it really is just like so much pure like art here that's just like so good and so much conversation and so much paradigm shifting things that that have happened and like made me like better and, and confident like um it's it's yeah. it's yeah yeah, yeah we're, so we're gonna come place. right back to that it's absolutely open and beautiful place thank you for being here we have an entire second half of the show we're gonna take a mid-show break we have some wonderful wonderful art coming up but Stay tuned, y'all. We'll listen to the Anything Can Happen show on KGPC 96.9 FM Oakland and streaming online at www.kgpc969.org. Again, this is the Anything Can Happen show. We got an entire second half. Stay tuned. In the meantime, quick music break. Peace. Yeah, good job. Oh, good job. You need to use the restroom or anything? Thank you. Now I'm sure. All right. You need to break down. Um, can you download that and share that to me? Or oh, yeah. is that possible oh. with Instagram thing? You can save it. And save it, and then like I can. You mean like to your camera roll or on Instagram? Whichever. I'm pretty sure we can do Instagram. Okay. Cool. All right. Yeah, we gonna restart the the live. Come back. What's <laughs> that? With the speaker? What's up with that? That one I know. I'm going to need, I turned this one off. Yeah. I'm going to need that music because yeah. that song, I can't even hear it. Oh, you can't hear it through here? Mm-hmm. I hear it in the headphones. It's huh? real low, even in even on, on my speaker, so I know. Okay. So was it that? That was me. Oh, you turned it up? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna need that song. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're gonna make that work. Ooh, this is okay. fun. Yeah. I love this. Come on, this is the first of many interviews you're gonna be doing. Nice. First like of many. Yeah. yeah. People are so interested. Huh? I said people are so interested. Yeah. Yeah. That's why it continues to blossom. You just keep on watering it. Nice. Exactly. That's all it is. When you get to that point in your journey where you just walking in your purpose and mm-hmm. things just flow to you. You know what I'm saying? Like those conversations, you could be writing something down about your goals and what you envision everything going into. And then that conversation happens right next to you. Like, Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know that's the person mm-hmm. that you need to you know mm-hmm. <laughs> be tied in with mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah that's how i feel about my, my business and my chef yeah <laughs> that chef i don't know who the chef is but when the chef comes right. they're gonna be feasting like kings uh, and queens bad house parties dinner parties galore uh, yeah. you you you're there, there right now ah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> the alternate universe were right there at the dinner mm-hmm. party. Right. Eating and enjoying. Look at this as a memory. Yeah. <laughs> you remember when we were in the studio <laughs> we were talking about it? And we were talking about the chef and everything? We like, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Mm-hmm. Ain't that right, Quasi? Were you at the dinner party with us? Uh, of course. You kidding me? Of course. Uh, let me see how I can share this, this video. It usually gives you an option when, once you go to close it out. Um, what you can do is we got if, you're, if, you're, if you're doing that as a post, you can, if you want, you can delete it and then you can do a shared post. All right, we're coming back. You going to bring us back or? or you yes. yes. Yes, yes. All right. All right, welcome back, everybody. This is the second half of the Anything Can Happen show Ooh. on KGPC 96. They got to go back and listen to the first half. Gold Beans founder, Gold Beans founder Taylor Crenshaw in the building. Yeah. That incredible Crenshaw crap. Mafia, y'all. You just got to go check out our Instagram at yep. ach.show. That's at ach.show if you want to catch the first half because we ain't going back. We're only moving forward. <laughs> but <laughs> going into the second Talk that half, mess, quiz. Absolutely. We talked a lot about Gold Beans. We talked a lot about your entrepreneurial journey, becoming a business owner, LLC, having grants developing a team spreading this love to the community that was all in the first half that was all in the first half <laughs> <laughs> i was like like we are 40% of it. <laughs> right. but i want to ask you 
more about Taylor Crenshaw, right? Like, <laughs> who is Taylor Crenshaw wow. outside of Gold Maker? Uh, I got soul searching hour. Uh, <laughs> yes, we're going to uh, go in deep this second half. This is your spirit talking to you right now. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I am a lover of art of all kinds. I'm constantly watching films. I'm constantly listening to, to music very deeply at art galleries. Um, I go, I travel a lot. So Italy, Johannesburg, Thailand, Costa Rica, London, um, Barbados, Trinidad. Like I'm, I'm out looking at art, looking at good people, good times. Um, I grew up having like the time of my life just partying the streets of Brooklyn and going to like underground events and things like that and like being in brooklyn did you ever come across any like local legends or anything at those events like people that you know uh well i i, I will say my first time seeing tyler the creator was oh, at one goodness. of his how like, was he in first, person first first event I, like I, I was just too cool at the time. Like I didn't really know him. Well, this is like around Yonkers. Uh huh. Oh, sure. And we were at, like, I think it was like a band's party. We were young, yeah. Like and like going in there with like the skater boy Matt Stoops. Like ah, so cool, so cool. Uh He's terrible. Um and and that that like us just really searching for the good time, searching for the the the, the, the lights and, and coming home like days later and like you know taking the metro north back and, and I grew up in an all black high school black and Latino in the middle of the woods, Williams, in the suburbs, like wow. was getting light on the on the tables, like uh-huh. a lot of um like our, our families Grew up together like my best friends like we've known each other we went to daycare together our parents went to high school with each other um i started traveling at 18 um to canada you know staying in hostels like you wow. know and really just wanted like everywhere i go just art and adventure is just so much even the even my career like as a kid, I would be in the, the the in cars driving with my mom. At the time, I was in social media. I was really young, and I would look at billboards. And it was my my dream career to design bill billboards, to be at the shoots. What age was to, you? This is like before. This is young. I can't even put an age on it. This is before Instagram. Yeah. That was a I'm 31. Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> this is before before Instagram. Like I might have still been sitting in the back seat of the car. I was young. Wow. You know, and and seeing all of these like very cool people, my like just my everybody around me was always just very interesting, and so I wanted to live like in that that moment of just like always being somewhere new, fancy, classy, whimsical, fantasy, sci-fi, like you know, just really wanting to have an awesome time, and and uh, I wrote all the time, I journal all the time, like it just makes sense that I do what I do now. And when I look back at it, it's like, oh, huh, huh, huh. Yeah, I, I see what you did. <laughs> as you've been together. as you've been creating, has it anybody that has come to your event, like an artist that mm. you, that you didn't expect to be at your event, or somebody that you really want, like both? Um, it's 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 less about uh, if there's a particular. I mean, Beyonce. <laughs> Beyonce, you hear this? I just saw that J Lo documentary. J Lo is a hustler, man. She's oh, yeah. fierce. Yeah. Um, but what I really love at the events, uh, of Tyler the Creator, because that's my man. I I just really just love what he does. Wow. Uh, Toby Lou, shoot, shoot, like if we gonna say, it, um, let's put it out there. Uh, uh, yeah, Childish Gambino. Yeah. Okay. Um, Kaylani, Slot, Janae, um, Tiara Wack, No Name, Erica, Jasmine Sullivan. Um, oh, put it out there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, listen, Anita Baker in the building. Right. Get us, yeah, get get Miss Patty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, who's got a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? Oh, um, I'll be like Monday. <laughs> Second Monday. Um, and and then in terms of artists, like just in general, um, I love when artists surprise, like us on the mic. The most hands down classic moment at a Second Mondays, uh, we were having the freestyle cipher, 
and this girl Bianca, she uh, she wrote her name on the list, but it was too it was too packed. So she, I knew she wanted to perform, but I was like, no, it's a freestyle cipher, you know, whatever. So we doing the freestyle cipher. I'm about to wrap it up. They turn off the music. I'm like, all right, y'all, about to wish everybody well. Yeah. And all of a sudden, I hear a piano playing. I'm like. Ooh. All right, I guess we back up. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then she just starts like singing her like most jazziest, soulful heart out. And I'm like, we all like, oh my God, because she's singing, she's playing the piano. And then I turn around and I hear the trumpet. I'm like, oh, we got the trumpet. I knew we had KJ, the saxophone is around, but we got the trumpet. Wow. It was her playing the trumpet with her mouth. Get out of here. So she's playing the piano, playing the trumpet, the trumpet, and singing. And singing. And just kills the whole That's stage, legendary. and we caught that on camera. It's crazy. Like yeah. it's just Bianca, like uh, Bianca like BB Brown. Like, wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. And That's she's legendary. won a couple of our special edition events. She yeah, got into a split. She's she's, she, she's an artist. She's she, very talented. Yeah. yeah. So, talented. so one of my questions for you for the second half is: I always love talking to people, like creative people that are working in their higher self, right? What do you do to stay in that space? Is there any particular routine you have daily, how you wake up, write down affirmations, meditate? Like, what do you do to be you? <laughs> um, so I'm I'm always out with friends. Like, I, I can't have enough friends. And we're always doing activities, like, out being outside, you know, in the woods and, and getting some wine. Why is it important to be in the woods? Uh, it's just important for me to feel free. And I, I work so much. Like I, I work from sun up to sundown, and I'm constantly like out. And even I'm doing research. I'm going to other concerts for research. Like I'm, I'm it's out funny. every single night. Yeah. Like what, what was there? Like Project once in the Erica concert. Her light, her lighting was just amazed. Like her setup, amazed. How many people does she have touring with her? Okay, got it. Knowing that for budget, mm-hmm. like etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. The opening. Blah, 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 who, uh, I went to a Cameron concert in San Francisco. Cameron. Yeah, you know what I mean? And just seeing, like, who's the audience here? Here's this, and it's at a, like, a, a big kind of, like, club bar party, like, stage, you know? Um, and seeing the difference between that and, like, Erica at the Greek Theater. And then I went to Buddy, um, also, but his concert oh, at Benny Parish. Yeah. So I'm, like, whether it's it's domestic or international like i'm i'm looking at events and and and, and being inspired looking at films looking watching documentaries watching interviews uh and um we were talking about how do i reset and i just yeah, started like, talking about <laughs> yeah but yeah, i can tell like, you it, it's like asking a parent about their life like it's going to come back to your child yeah, like, that, yeah that's funny but yeah getting back to it do you like do you do like I, yoga i have to spend time like, by myself you do What's the, important, what's the real importance myself. about yeah what's the real because importance because i need to you? know i think if i spend too much time with other people and not enough time like with myself like i wouldn't know my i wouldn't have time to think it and learn and understand my new and growing and evolving thoughts and feelings about things and so if i don't have to, and, and, and make those things up for myself without without any 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 anyone else's thoughts or opinions or actions and it, it doesn't have to be about anything like too like big like it could just be like what i think about like ice cream or whatever or what i think about uh what a work day should look like or what i think about you know like a good film like i'll just sit and i'll just think and and develop my own personality and, and my wisdom out of the things that like i think through and shift through and what i want to do what i want to accomplish so a lot of things i want to do is crazy to some and people people <laughs> like people people believe me now and, and there's things that i want that's even bigger and they're pro- they'll probably believe me more later and that's fine like I, yeah, it's, it's, it's it's okay it's 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 pretty wild some of the things that i that i that i've always wanted um even where i want to like can you I want, share one I like, of those things that you just think is like wild that people can't really grasp at this moment <laughs> Oh, well, me being an entrepreneur or me yeah. having an art festival as big as Art Basel or yeah. having a festival as big as Afropunk or um, even... So at your art festival, I'm going to call it right now, me and Quezzy are going to be on stage at this festival. Nice. I don't know when and where it's going to Is happen. It, y'all going to be talking to uh, artists that yeah, sell million, bajillion dollar yeah. paintings. Yeah, and man. doing a live interview. We're going to be doing live interviews at your festival. After the exhibition. Yeah, what yeah, yes. We all Everybody tied in. Right. Okay. You know <laughs> what I mean? Our boss got a lot of other satellite events and stuff like this. Yeah. A lot going. Okay. We're going. We're going to get it cooking. Um, 
but or even like that i wanted to travel so much like i go i and, and i make that I, I go i i just came back from vermont or i haven't felt like i had to tell yeah oh, sure. i had to tell myself safe. that these things are real before i go out into the world so i could know that i could design my own life mm. and you know i i don't put too much pressure on myself but I do want the freedom to be able to design without I feel like boundaries and just and give it my best. And and before I get the energy of like, you know, you know, because even when I quit my job at Banana Republic, like I didn't have no savings. I didn't have no money. I didn't have yeah, no family savings. out here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it, it just really I was like it could really it it it's, it really was God. Yeah. And people are like, that. you know, don't quit. <laughs> Why are you quitting that job and you're doing this or this? And yeah. again, it's, it's, I think it's people being safe. Like, I don't think that yeah. they mean to do it with like demonized. They, they just, you know, it's just like, yeah. oh gosh. When, when did you realize that you were the creator of your own world? I've always lived the life that I want. Even when I was a girl, like I was like, ah, oh. like before going out to the city all the time, I'm like, I want to hang out in Brooklyn and live like an edgy slash classic girl life and did it. Oh, I want to go to HBCU and like live that like went to Howard. I want to travel to the 18 and meet this type of done it. I want to go to California and do this. I want my life to be an artist and all of these yeah. and, and fun things. And yeah, like, you just that's keep what on proving that over and over. It's scary. Yourself. It's scary. Yeah. And I it's like, to I gotta like, I listen to a lot of inspirational videos. I'm like getting through the like depression and, 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 and learning myself and my emotions. That was like two years ago. Like, woof. like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm building my capacity to handle more and more projects. I'm learning how to do, like, I actually, that was a DI box. It's like a, a something that you plug into, like a, a middle plug between a DJ's DJ and like the mixer. Yeah, okay. um, but like, you know, learning, like having, going out and getting contracts that teach me about fashion, like mm -hmm. give me mentors that I can make this bigger, like build my network. Like, it's like, all right, well, if, this is what I want to do. If I have a concert, I gotta. If I want a festival, I gotta build a concert. And I think about that in that same kind of regards with many things. If I want this, and okay, like maybe I'll do that, wow. and and really see like, and if I if I let let let's say if my calibration is off, it's like oh, okay, so this was how I thought about this. Let me modify. Let me like let me think about other things. Let me let me reframe my way of thinking to like a better one like let me be more savvy let me be more this like let me let me really like think about this a couple of times for a second and the longer you think about something the more you can think about like just ways to just make it like better and more beautiful more smart you know How you get the download yeah you just yeah. take time to think it's often we don't have time to think you know it's hard for me to have time i can to just feel the energy time. just flowing through you know? right now it's always an answer. <laughs> a lot of things you create to distract us from what you've been able to tap into, which is like your your connection to source, right? Mm -hmm. Like you, fortunately, like it sounded like you were privileged in a sense that you had the freedom and the opportunity to explore, right? Something that other people may not have at such a young age for a variety of reasons, right? But you you found your calling at a young age, and you've been pursuing that ever since, right? And that, that's very powerful. Yeah. And again, I think it might be helpful to, to talk through like how to like, cause I like, that's something that like in, in, in the beginning stage, like I would have talk with mentors, but I, I felt like I was getting a lot of general things, but like still really kind of foggy about like, but okay, okay, but how? So like, okay, for example, me traveling a lot, like I had a best friend who, um, she was she was already starting to like travel a lot. Her and I, we both lived in Westchester. We, she would drive out often to Brooklyn together. And so she had went out to Canada. Um, was like, yo, let's go to Toronto. We got on the mega bus. The mega bus was like a hundred dollars. We got our passport cards because I was cheaper, and stayed in a hostel and like walked around College Ave and like met friends and did whatever. And then she had went like uh, to the Middle East for a summer. I'm like, girl, you left me. <laughs> oh, I didn't know we were traveling on our own. I was like 21, and I was like, all right. Well, I was working at Gap as a sales associate and making like maybe three to $500 every two weeks. Wow. And so I was on traveldo.com.org and I've seen that there was flights to Italy for $500. I'm like, all right, bet. Like, I'm going to just spend Italy? my, yeah. Like I, I was wow. shopping flights by deal and not by destination. Wow. So whatever was like off season. Um, <laughs> wow. I'm like, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's dope. <laughs> and so spent my, my two week check on that. Um, and wow. then was 
like I was like, all right, well, this is when MapQuest was out. I had to like MapQuest wow. the, the trains so map between quest. cities. You know, gotten fifteen dollar night hostels in Milan, Florence, Rome, uh, and bought the train tickets and spent about like three hundred dollars on that. Like maybe a month later, a month or two months after I bought the, the flight ticket. So again, making three to five hundred dollars every two weeks. So got that and it was out. It was out and 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 always on that time because I need to live my life. You know what I mean? Like. So I, I do take a lot of risk and um, they might not like, I mean, it, it might not, it's, it's, it might not be for everybody. Like, you know what I mean? But only the dream is, only the dream is just be smart. Just be savvy. Just know what you've been able to do before. And really like know that like, okay, I've been able to get through this. I've been able to work this out and have that be your logic of the things that you've been able to accomplish. And if you just starting to accomplish things, you just gonna have to go through some things and do your best and get out on the other side. Maybe whether that's a month later, a couple of years later. And believe me, as you get older, you're gonna get through more and more stuff and come out on the other side. See what works, see what doesn't. Be the person that you want to be in every single situation that you're in. If you wanna be kind, if you wanna be respectful, if you want to be like uh, your absolute goofy self and, and fun, like be, be, if you want to be like the person who's just like a multitasker, really good, whoever you want to be as you, a thought leader or, you know, a good boss, like be, you know, be that person in each of your situations. Like when things feel impossible, it's like, all right, you know, know that you might need to sleep a little bit. That's why I said, like, if you're going through something for the first time, like me with like really insistent depression, like my, my, I was like, yo, I just want to sleep, but I felt guilty about sleeping and not working. Um, and I had to, I had to do it. I had to do it for like a month and like me going through it for the month and, and being up, I'm like, I feel better. Or me being so scared to quit my job at the time. And, and then like after a week of just kind of like crying, being in bed and that week out there, I'm like, I feel better. Like sometimes, so sometimes you have to like sit through something in the way yeah. that you choose you to, to, to know that you can go out and then to use that confidence that when you go through something else, like you'll be able to get, there's another side to it. You just go through it as authentically as like, you know, see your feelings, work through them, process them. And you, you're going to be all right. Just keep doing, keep, 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 Keep keep doing what you what you yeah yeah, yeah. man you need a camera team I'm you, uh, <laughs> genius documentary <laughs> I can see you like leading something huge I mean growth it's, it's relative of course but I mean like yeah like, big Scam, I yeah. can see that that's, that's very powerful right and so we we only have a few minutes left believe it or not um, one question for you so you you started to touch on this and I want you to answer this and then drop your socials and when the next event is. Now people can tap in right but mm -hmm. my question is how do you turn your hobby your dream your vision into a reality and something that's profitable that allows you to because not what you and me are dreamers so i resonate with what you're saying like i quit my job the first week that i found Hold out y'all yeah. ain't the only person that quit oh, your no, job okay. in the okay. building okay. Man. oh okay i guess we should quit it I, everybody quit it. we all quit, we <laughs> all quit our anyway, jobs in that building yeah, sure. like not not everybody now, like because it can be scary. Some people do have like kids and other obligations. So, what recommendation would you give to people in order to allow them to make that transition and go do what they were put on this earth to do? No, you one you you gotta live it. You gotta have that be your everyday. Hop on projects. Uh, work with like, like for me, like when I knew I wanted to get better at events, like I worked at the Open Museum of. of Oakland Museum in California with their event production team. That's really just picking up and putting down chairs and, and doing lifting heavy stuff and all that. But I'm like, oh, y'all use walkie talkies. Oh, this. Oh, I'm too too. Have coffee with the CEO. Like, oh, I just, you know. Um, and uh, also, like, with the with Oak Stop, we have a partnership with them that allows us to be in this space at a discount. Wow. And I worked at Oak Stop. I put in a lot of sweat equity to to show and prove, like, hey, like this is who I am. Um, trust me, this is how I show up. This is the type of work that I do. Like you're like think long term. Like who do you need to know? Who are your who who? What do you what do you want to do? Uh, and what are your morals about things? So for me, like I want to keep Go Beams events affordable. So I had I knew I, I and and Go Beam and Second Mondays operates as a deficit because it's so inexpensive right now you know 
but I always knew that our money would not come from ticket sales. Like, uh, and it, it would come from sponsors, partners, and grants. And then for our contracts, like uh, them seeing a, a beautiful production that we're doing with 100, 500 people, yeah. it's like, oh, here's the capacity. We're going to actually that's like that's really, you know what I mean? So have those things in your back pocket, like in in us with contracts for me again it was like oh we're i'm project managing so much and and, and i'm on these projects and sitting on boards and, and seeing meetings and things of things that don't work and the things that do work and the pain points and the successes plans like pick up everything see what everybody is doing get get like oh that worked for them they're doing this this seems to this and be re- responsive to your your audience like don't just think that they're just going to do what you want them to do just because Keep that in mind that I wanted people to stay longer when it was at my when second Monday was yeah. at my apartment. What did they need to stay longer? They needed free food. And it could sound crazy. Like how are you gonna free food? You like for years I invested into this event. Invested. Knowing that invested. knowing knowing what it was, you know what I mean? And at that time, like having the part time, like knowing what I was doing, knowing what I networking, growing my skill, sharpening the sword, yeah. you know, getting my emotional mental right. So yeah, and so just Continue to be smart because you're gonna con- gonna come up with Eureka, Eureka uh, 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 ideas about money. If you make good quality things, it's gonna work. Uh, just okay. be smart. Yeah, building no cup. <laughs> be smart. No cup. Be so, smart. Real quick, drop your socials and then we gotta get out of here. Yes, you can follow us at at gold like the metal dot beams like laser beams. Um, at gold.beams. Um, our website is goldbeams.org. You can see all the beautiful pictures from our events that we've had. Um, and yes, yeah, live. We got our Talk It Out event where we're talking about parenthood and our relationships with our parents on July 20th. Second Mondays is every second Monday in October. We're going to start giving out $2,000 in prizes for the next six months. So, slide. Slide. <laughs> so, you heard it here first. Gold Beams and Anything Can Happen show. Tapping with Second Mondays. But this is KGPC 96.9 FM. Streaming online, www.kgpc969.org. Follow us. Like, comment, follow, subscribe at ACH.show on Instagram. We also got a TikTok at ACH.show. Stay tuned. We coming back next week. We'll see you then. Peace. 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 Yay. Wow. Yay. Yeah, we did good. it, Joe. Come on. <laughs> oh, that was good. Ooh. You have really good energy. Sweet. This is, I really like, I really enjoy this. Yeah. We got one last thing before we get you out of here today. We do a drop for all our guests, or our guest does a drop for the show. Okay. So just introducing nice. yourself. Nice for tuning it in. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, tell them you know who you are, where you're from, and then uh, what we talk about today. What we say the overall topic was. Oh, following your dreams. Yeah, following your dreams. Yeah, let's keep it simple. Yeah, peace, y'all. Miss Felicia.